Good, welcome to Pilates for Everybody. I have it on my YouTube uh, channel, it's called Pilates for Everybody. Sometimes you feel like you're part of that population and sometimes you don't. Sit on your mat with your sit bones nice and, you know, like planted there on the mat. They're what's holding you up so you're not falling into your back. You have your chest lifted. It's almost like one of those circus performers with the hook that, that twirls them around so your chest is nice and lifted. Your shoulder blades are down, your ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. Today, we're going to do something new. We're going to do timed Pilates exercises, and believe me, it'll feel uh, different. Um, so first, we'll stretch. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down. There are lots of circles today. Inhale down, and exhale up, and move over to the side. Good. Pushing to the wall today, uh, curling down. Nice. Keep those um, glutes on the floor. All right. Take your ear and guide it. Let's take our hand across to the other side so we get a little more uh, neck opening. Okay. And then take it back. Inhale. Rotate your shoulder toward the screen. Don't let that other boot come off the floor. Good. Put your hand down. If you want to go into the spinal twist, if not, stay right where you are. Take your hand behind you and rotate. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, lift up. Lift up. Breathe into it. Good. I forgot to set this. Nice. And stay there. Three breaths. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, bring it back to center. Roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward and switch legs. Now remember, you don't have to fold your legs. Your legs can also be out as long as you're on top of your sit bones. Inhale, exhale up and inhale down. Which is what cramp. And inhale down and exhale up and inhale down and exhale up and inhale and exhale, push it toward the opposite wall. Breathe into it. Really get that nice deep stretch. Keep your sit bones lifted. Don't fall back on it. So easy to kind of rock back, right? Put your hand on your ear, guide your head over. We're going to take this arm across just to get a nice open shoulder. Beautiful. Then inhale over and rotate. Good. Looking ahead. You can stay there or come back into the spinal twist. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. And hold it right there. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it back together. Back of the hands come together, or front of the hands come together and push the palms out. Nice. We are going into seated butterfly, arms in front of the ears, pushing toward the wall across from us for a hinged stretch, not a forward fold. Push out of that tailbone. Now lower the elbows to the floor, scoop down, feel that. Curl inside your core and bring yourself up. Take the legs uh, hip width apart and drop them side to side. Nice job. Four more. Four and three and two. It's time. One, both sides. And then let's get ourselves down to harmony. Lift yourself out of your sit bones, drop your shoulder blades, and then curl yourself down, starting with the tailbone, vertebrae by vertebrae. Make sure your feet are in front of your knees and then lift your glutes up, take them down the mat and wiggle your chest up. You want to feel that long line zipping you right up. Belly button to spine, abs up and under the rib cage, and we have those rib cages closed. All right, we are going to start with single leg stretch for our warm up. That's all we're going to do for our warm up. And then we're going right into that, um, the timed workout today. All right, so the sigma leg stretch brings us to tabletop and curls us up. We put one hand on the outside ankle, one hand on the knee. Now, if you don't have back concerns, take it out to 45. If you do, take it up to 90. You're trained right through the middle. No, you don't go over toward the knee, right? So inhale and exhale. Reposition it on each side so it's absolutely where it should be. Outside ankle, inside knee, keep going. We're gonna do about 20 of these. Really push that leg out. We want everything to work. Keeping your curl up if you can. Eight, seven, that's let's 26, five, four, three, two, 
and one both sides. Hug your knees and bring your feet to the floor. All right, we're going to start with push-ups. And it's going to be a minute and a half. You can decide to curl yourself up or not curl yourself up. So you're taking your legs to tabletop and you're pointing them right over your knees. So you're right at tabletop. Your legs are not lifted. You're right at tabletop. Curl yourself up if you want to. Leave yourself down if you don't. Starting for a minute and a half. You get here, right here. Let's go. Push out. Inhale and exhale. Exhale back. Good. Take your time. Do it at your own rhythm. Take a break if you need to. Good. Push. So all of these are 90 seconds, and then we go down to 60. So we'll see how that works. You'll start to feel some work along the hips here. Push out. Push out. Good. Push out. That's your first 30 seconds. So you have a minute left. Good. I have my head lifted a little bit so I can see the clock. All right. Good. Push. Nice. Push. Perfect. Push. Really feel the extension of those legs. Nice. 45 seconds. You're halfway. Push. Push. Good. Push. Nice. Keep going. Push. Your last 30 seconds. Nice. Yeah, you got it. 15. Are we feeling it? Good. Good. Yes. Got it. Last two seconds, last one. And bring your legs down, knees together and feet apart. So the next workout we're gonna do is kind of gonna kind of counteract that one. We're gonna roll like a ball for 90 seconds. So I'd like you to straighten your legs up, roll yourself into that first push, then push your legs forward to bring yourself up, all right? You remember the position on uh, rolling like a ball. You have your hands at your ankles, or you can have them under your thighs. You lift them off the floor. You put yourself in a seat curve. That doesn't mean dropping your shoulders forward. That means sinking into your belly. That is looking down at your feet. Starting, good. Now, we go back and forward. Don't touch the floor. Yes, complete control. Complete control, right? Tight, tight, tight. Nice. Perfect. 15 seconds in. Nice. Good. Make sure you complete the whole roll. Good. Nice. A minute to go. You're there. Nice and tight. Good. Perfect. You got it. 40 seconds to go. Try not to touch down. Keep tight. Don't lose your form. Take up. Last 25 seconds. Come on. You want to go to the top of the spine, but not onto your neck, right? And move back a little bit. 15 more seconds. Nice. Perfect. Last one. Hold it there. Lower your head. Take the legs down and hold it right there. So the next set is going to be down, around, and up. We're going to do 45 minutes in one direction and 45 minutes in the other. Now, one of the things that's really important during this, it's the standing leg, the one that's not working, stays in precise position. So one of the things that you can do is hold that leg if you need to. All right, take the legs to tabletop. Take one leg up and point it nice and strong. And good. Down, around, and up. You can curl up for this if you want. Inhale and exhale. We're not counting, we're just using the timer. 
Good job. Good. Again, you can be curled up for this, especially if you need back attention. How about that other leg? Is it staying in position? Every time you come up, is that knee right where it should be? How about that leg that you're lowering? Is it staying nice and long? You have um, 15 more seconds in this direction. I like start getting one little piece. Good. Nice. Got it. Good job. Nice long leg. Last one. Now, out around and in. Out, around and in. Good. 30 seconds, or 45 seconds. Good. Now I'm stabilizing my outside leg. Because as I go out, that leg wants to go out too. Good. Last 30 seconds. I'm feeling it. In that groin muscle. Really. That muscle that runs right along the top of your hip. Right? Perfect. 30 more seconds. Good. Nice job. Good. Last 15 seconds. Beautiful. Nice. 10 seconds. And last one. And bring it down. And we're going to the other side. I'll turn around. <clears throat> we can do a little stretch while I go over to the other side. All right, one direction for 45, the other direction for 45. Take the leg up, make it nice and long. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Keep going. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Do your breathing. That's really important. Keeping your body flat on that mat. Keeping that belly button to the spine. This is all about anchoring, right? So we get deep into that hip crease. Yes. Down, around, and up. Keep going. You've got it. You're halfway down on the side. Good. Perfect. You've got it. Ten more seconds. Good. Get that leg long. Nice. Perfect. And now out, around, and up. Out, around, and up. Good. Nice. Mm. Out. Uh. Out. So I like a little bit of a pause at the top so you can feel that opening. All right. Good. Only 15 more seconds. How fast that went. Oh, my goodness. Good. Ten more seconds. Keep your form. Good. Nice. Three seconds. Last one. And we'll bring it in and feet together. Knees apart. Recline butterfly. All right. Still trying to alternate top and bottom. So come on up and sit. Open your legs to shoulder width apart and flex them. Do the same thing. We're going to do 45 on one side and 45 on the other. So arms are out to the side. This is going to be um, sawing the toe off, the toes off. So put your head over your elbow and do one side for 45, starting now. And bring it over. Inhale, exhale, lower, bring it up and over. Good. Down, saw it twice and over. Nice. Down, saw it twice, and over. Good. Down, saw it. Good. And over. Nice. Yes. Perfect. And good. I want you to keep yourself high on those sit bones. Nice. Keep going. Go with 55. I've got to keep remembering where I started. Lift and over. Down, lift and over. Over, down, I'm doing it a little fast so you can feel that waist work. Good, oh, we just finished that side. All right, <clears throat> let me take it right to the zero so I get it right. Lift up, over and saw, bring it up and center. Over, lower saw, bring it up and center. Over, lower saw, bring it up and center. 
lower over lower and center. You've got it. <clears throat> up and center. Nice. Up and center. Lower. Saw. 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 Up and center. Five more seconds. And here we go. And bring it together and roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward. And then we're going to lie down again. So we're only 13 minutes into the class, and we've already done like six exercises. So this is going to be a sequence, so we're not going to switch upper and lower body really fast when we get, get into a diagonal. So lie on your back, take your legs to tabletop, and wait for me. All right, I'm going to curl myself down. I'm going to separate. Legs to tabletop, legs all the way up. Nice pointed legs. This is going to be 90 seconds out and in, out. And in. Good. Nice. Perfect. Yes. Out and in. Are those legs nice and straight? And are they over your hips? Good. Nice. Good. Nice. You're 30 seconds in. You have one minute to go. Nice. You got it. Perfect. Good. Inhale and exhale. Pull that belly in. Come on. Pull that belly in as you bring it in. So that's really your exit. Good. 45 seconds to go. One seconds to go. Good. Last four seconds. And bend those knees and bring them down. All right, the sequence, you're going to walk those feet a little bit forward. We're going to open those legs. And as you bring them up, bring them together, you're going to lift it into a bridge. So make sure you come up vertebrae by vertebrae. That also will be 90, starting now. Lift and down. Good. Nice. Perfect. Yes. Put those lots of different positions of our abductor adductors. That's what we're doing now. We're starting with slow ones, and we're going to go to medium, and this is medium, and then we're going to go to fast. Good. Nice. Perfect. Good. Good. Roll it vertebrae by vertebrae. Come on. Got it. Good. Push it. Feeling it. Nice. Good job. Ah. Ah. You've got 20, no, 30, 25 seconds. Got to be able to do math in this class. Oh, I'm feeling all that inner thigh work I was talking about. Yes. All right. And last 10 seconds. Good. Good. Last one. And lower down. Put the legs side by side, knees together, feet apart. And now we're going to fast. <clears throat> so you take the legs to tabletop, take them all the way up. We're going to cross ankles for 90 seconds, starting now. Just cross. There we go. <clears throat> Keep it lifted. Good. 
Good. Nice. Keep going. This is going to get, this is going to be, believe it or not, even though you're creating energy, this will be your most tiring one. Not because of the heart rate, but because of small muscles. It's reflex stuff. It's like when dogs have to do horses and they have to go around those cones really tight. That's really hard work. Good. All right. One minute to go. Less than a minute to go. Come on. Get them out of those hips. Good. Good job. Nice. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Curl up if you want to. Support your legs if you want to. Good. 25 seconds. Nice. Good. Last 15. Keep those pointed legs. Last nine. And bring it down. All right, knees together, feet apart, rock it side to side. Now, we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to do a 90 second plank. So that's going to just slow us all the way down. And we're going to have to use our whole body instead of just our um, legs. So if you need to put one knee down, I'll call 45 and you can switch to the other side. You can do long arms, you can do dolphin. You want to make sure your elbows or your hands, whatever you decide to do, are under your shoulders. You push your feet out into a flex and try to push those heels past your feet. You pull your belly button to your spine and you feel the stretch all the way from the pelvic pubic bone to the neck. All right, elbows under your shoulders or hands under your shoulders. Push one leg back, push the other leg back. 90 seconds right here. I'll call it in 45. If you're changing the legs. All right, eyes are down, knees are lifted, and you're breathing. Good. I know you have to bring your heart rate down a little bit to make this work. That's okay. Good, breathe into it. Good job. Nice. Nice. Breathe into it. That's the 45 mark right there. So if you have knee down, you want to switch to the other knee. Good. And breathe into it. Good. There we go. 30 more seconds. Twenty more seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. Knees down on one. Reach your arms really far. Push your glutes back. Parallel legs. Push them back into child pose. And take a nice deep breath. Good job. All right, so we're back over onto our backs. Ooh. Actually, we're on our sides, sorry. We're on our sides, straight down the mat. All right, make sure your arm is coming out of your shoulder. Do not have your head forward, right? Rest your arm on your bicep. Make sure your legs are long down the mat. Bend that arm, point those legs, nice. So you're gonna lift into a flex, point coming down, got it? Starting now, lift into a flex, point coming down. Don't let the leg turn, and down. Lift, and down. Lift, and down. Lift, that bottom leg should be pointed. Lift into the flex, and down. Lift into the flex and down. This is again going to be a sequence. And down. Lift into the flex and down. 15 seconds in. 
to the flex, band down. See, that was 10 after. Lift into the flex, band down. So do 20. Lift into the flex, down. Flex and point. 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 Flex, stop at the top, point. Flex and point. All right, you have a minute left. Point. Flex and 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 point. Keep going, 40 seconds left. Flex and point. 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 Keep going. Flex, 20 seconds. Good. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex. Keep going. It's the last 10 seconds. Flex. Woo. Flex. Cramp. And the last one and bring it down. I want you to stretch your arm out. Bring your arm over. And we're going to do 90 seconds. Oh, push. One. Keep going. Push. Push down. Let yourself roll back. Nice. Did I say that? That was 50. Yeah. Breathe. Good. You've got it. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. You passed 30 seconds in. That feels good, right? Pass a minute in. Maybe that's not true. Pass 45 seconds. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keep going. Past a minute in. Let's go. Sorry, something interrupted my clock. Keep going. You're not disturbing, I'm working. Come on, let me see it so I don't take people too far. Last 10 seconds. And bring it down. Okay, last part. On this side, 90 seconds, you're going to do a um, scissor split, right? I'm gonna get a good uh, starting point, 40 is a good one. So split, 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 split. Good, nice, got it. Good job, nice. You've got it. Perfect. Nice. You've got it. You can put your arm up or you can put it on your waist. You can put it You want to do it fast. If you can't do it fast, that's okay. Also, you might want to have something under your hip. You probably figured that out already, right? You're going, oh my God, I'm getting run burned. <laughs> right. All right, in a minute, just pop it up. Here it is. Here it is. Come on. Use it. Get that heart rate up too. If you can take this opportunity, let's see. Yeah, 113, then go a little more. Don't let your head cock forward. Stay over your tailbone. All right, that's one minute. So you have 30 seconds. Good job. Nice. Make sure you swing that bottom leg back. Sometimes people stop under their top leg. So you want 20 seconds. You want to get it as far back as you can. This is your scissor, right? Keep going. Last eight seconds. Good. 
And bring yourself up and take a bend up forward. Before we go to the other side, we're going to do a panther hold for 90. All right. So come to the center, hands under the shoulders. Let me turn this up. Hands under the shoulders and toes into the floor. Belly button to spine. Now, if you can't do this, just do a watchdog and switch halfway through. All right, I'm trying to get a big number here. I'm at 2854. It's not helpful. So, why don't we sit back into job pose for a second and get me to 30 seconds? This is the breath right here. All right, now, minute and a half. Lift your knee off the floor and hold it. And breathe. So how is this different from a plank? Well, you don't get as much lat work, for instance. So you're not getting an elastic from all the way through. You're just able to use the hip in place of the lat. So on the plank, you have that big, long line coming through. And on the panther, you don't. So you have that hinge. So you're more than uh, 30 seconds here. You have less than a minute. So hold it right there. Eyes down, but not under. Halfway there. Good. Hang on to it. I know if it hurts on your knee, just come down because it does do. It doesn't weigh a lot of gravity. Or anything. It does weigh a lot of gravity onto someone's knee. So if your knee is like delicate, you might not be delicate or tired. You may not want to hold it. You see where I am. All right. Last twenty seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, down the other side. I can do that side thing. On the other side, so walk it all the way out. Make sure your head's on your bicep, your bicep's over your tailbone. Your legs are stacked, your belly button's to the side. You're tucked under, you have a, you have a um, mat under you if you need it. The first one's gonna be the flex up and the point down. You don't move the knee at all. Starting now, flex up and point down. Bottom leg is pointed down, flex up, point 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 down. I'm going a little too high. My leg is rotating a little bit, so I've got to control it. Flex. You're 30 seconds in, so you have only a minute left. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, 45 seconds and you're halfway there. Point, flex, point. This is my uh, TFL side, so I'm feeling it sooner than I felt the other side. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. I'm doing it with my hand, point. Last 30 seconds, flex, point, flex, point. Ooh, we're running out of time, aren't we? Flex, point, look at my clock. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, last uh, uh, 10 seconds. Flex, point, flex, last five, last three, and the last one. All right, stretch that arm out. We're going to push toward the ankle, point those legs. As soon as I get a nice big number here, and go push. Good. Exhale and inhale. Good. And inhale back. Pull that belly in. Look straight ahead. I will even also look straight ahead so I don't have to block the whole time. Nice. Good job. Push, push. Come on, push it. Feel that waist. Nice. You got it. 30 seconds in, so you have a minute left. Good. Uh, I'm feeling that oblique crunch pretty good here. 
Yes, I am. Boom. Get those bottom legs nice and tight and pointed. 45 seconds. I straight ahead or your neck will be like, ah. right? Last 30 seconds. It's 15, let's go. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bend that elbow again and lower down. And I'm going to let the numbers come down so I can get that scissor split right here. Make sure that you have a comfortable position here. On your mark, get set, go. Make sure you are reaching in both directions. Don't let yourself get off of your pedestal. Sit your hip. Good. You have to breathe a lot during this. Don't do percussive breathing. Try to make it flow breathing because you want to supply it. You don't want it to be too anaerobic. You're already 30 seconds in with them. One minute to go. And watch that rocking back. Again, this could hurt your back if you take your legs out of position. So make sure that you keep that length right there. Keep going. Good. You're 45, so you're halfway there. Now, some people might want to come up here for this. But that's going to put a little bit of a cock in your hip. So try to stay down here if you can't wait for that last 30 seconds. Oh. Trying to think of every cue on the planet, right? So I don't believe it. I wonder if Nice. Last 17 seconds. Woo! Reach, reach, reach. Make sure you're reaching in both directions. Last 10. Oh, three, two, and one. Boy, that killed me. All right, come on, two legs. We are stretching now. Golly. Cross one leg over into the pigeon and push with your hand. Rocking the bottom leg back and forth while you do it. Push with your hand. With that stretch. Now curl yourself up, get your other foot on its toe. Bring it up and really bring it toward you. Use your elbow to push the other thigh away. Lift the bottom leg. Do a little more of a push. Slide the top leg off and lower your head. Rotate the ankle one direction and then the other. Now I'm going to wiggle your toes. There you go. As you were pushed into them. Now we're bringing it down. And bringing it down and bringing it down and bringing it down and breathing, bringing the leg as long as we can. And then putting our hand inside the thigh, keeping both glutes still on the floor. You're pushing it out to the side. Get that other knee to the ceiling. Now slide that other leg out into a flex. Take your first leg up, and you're going to cross over, lifting that glute off the floor as you cross that leg over. Well, the hips are on the seat toward the ceiling, but the shoulder blades are still on the floor. Bend the knee, and then bring it up, and you have it across the other leg. And push it into, push into the thigh. Really push into it and breathe. Get out your toe, curl yourself up, use your elbow to push into that thigh. And lift the bottom leg and bring it in just a little bit more. 
So that leg off, rotate the ankle one direction, and then the other. Then let's bring it in. We can inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We can inhale and exhale or hold it. Good job. And put your hand inside the thigh and take it out to the side. Don't let anything else move. You want to keep those anchors. All right, then bring it up, sliding the other leg out and take it across. And then bend the knee and bring it back up. Put those legs side by side, knees together, feet apart. Then parallel those knees so they're directly to the ceiling and bring yourself up into a bridge. Palms to the ceiling and hold that. Breathe into it. And lower, starting at the heart and coming through the mid back and through the lumbar and then to the tailbone and let it spread out. Great job. You're going to put the bottom of your feet together. Put your hands, palms up, and you're going to reach under those thighs as you curl up. Then put those knees together, slide those legs up, and bring yourself up and face the front. Get into a position where you're on your sit bones in the, in the front facing position. So whatever works for you. Put a pillow, like we did yoga, you can put a pillow under your clothes. Just want to make sure that your lifted arms are out to the side and you're coming across the ear. Now I want you to curl down. As we went right through all of that side in our um, planks. Grab your ear, take your head across, and then look down into your armpit. Release the ear, bring your chin to your chest, and bring it all back up to the side. All right, inhale and exhale over to the other side, but that makes it all extend. On the ear, take it across. Down into the armpit. Oh. Release it and bring it down to the chest. And bring it all the way back up. Take our legs out. And we're going to curl forward. So we're going to start with the arms up. We're going to curl up and under as we come down. That's our inhale. Exhale, walking down to the mat. Separate your hands to shoulder width apart and push into your hands, straighten your arms so your back gets a little bit of stretch. Look down between them. Don't let your back and neck crunch. And then elbows come back down and you stretch. And walk it in. You can feel those hamstrings, right? And bring yourself up and balance those legs. All right, we're going to end down here. It's great. We're going to inhale out and exhale across. Then we're going to switch it. We'll do four times. And across and inhale and across and inhale and across and bring it down. Thank you for coming to Pilates, the timed series. Remember, if you're coming to Pilates on Sunday, bring a stool about this high or a riser or something like that.